What's going on YouTube? Leo Pozzo TV here. Thanks very much for tuning in. In today's video, we are doing a few things such as setting up the 125 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. And currently right now, I just left the local fish store. I just picked myself up some substrate and I picked myself up three bags of aragonite, 40 pounds each. So I got 120 pounds of aragonite uh, for a substrate for my 125 gallon tank. I plan to use uh, approximately about an inch or so of a substrate to, on the bottom of my tank and if I don't need all three bags I can return it as long as I uh, don't open up the, uh, the last bag or whatnot, whatever I don't use. I've also picked myself up some aqua vitro, it's called seed and basically what it does is help you uh, start the bacteria and the cycling of your tank. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm actually on my way right now, I'm driving right now, I just left the local fish store and now I'm actually on my way to a local reefer's house. I just got a phone call here. So that was the wife just asking uh, if everything's good and yep, yeah, everything is top notch. I'm on my way to a local reefer's house, which uh, by the name of Tony, thanks to Tony, um, I won't mention his last name, but he's also on my uh, Facebook group. Uh, I have a saltwater Facebook group by the name of GTA Saltwater Fish and Coral Connection. I'll leave the group. I'll leave the group link in the description down below. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be going over to his house so we can get some of his filter floss from his filtration system. We're going to get a little bit of rubble rock, hopefully with some purple coralline algae. And uh, what else will we get? Maybe. Um, filter floss and um, if I'm lucky I'll get a little bit of sand from his sand bed a little bit of his substrate uh, but I think he said he uses black substrate and he doesn't really have any extra to give away but that's all good I have my own substrate now I picked up my own uh, aqua vitro kind of bacteria booster to cycle the tank I got the aragonite I'm off to a good start you guys are coming along with me I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to show of the video inside his house and all of that for privacy reasons so I'll kind of just keep it low key. Let's see how it goes when we set up the 125 gallon tank, man. Stick with me, subscribe right now if you guys haven't already.
So I got my bucket of uh, some little bit of filter floss and I got some little bit of rubble rock right here with some coralline algae on it and just in general some little bit of rubble live rock. Hopefully it does a little bit to help seed my 125 gallon tank and uh, I'm so far I had a blast coming over here to Tony's house he knows a lot about reefing his tanks look amazing and this was what I was able to get off of him to start up my 125 all right guys so we just left Tony's house right now I'm on the way home I'm so thankful for Tony uh, for sharing his experience along with giving me some filter floss and some rubble rock and showing me all his, uh, his tanks and his fish and his coral and uh, just talking for like over an hour about fish tank stuff and just in general about the hobby and all this new stuff that technology and equipment and who what stores and who has what and how to maintain fish and coral and how he doses what chemicals what testing kits all this good stuff Tony is a great guy lots to learn from him so I'm definitely gonna be hanging around Tony a little bit more often and I'm gonna be going over there for sure to grab some of my fish and coral or I would say more coral than anything because I don't think he really has too many fish uh, available but I'm gonna go and uh, meet up with him when my tank is ready to go and get some coral for sure uh, he has many frags as you guys can see there in his frag tank and his display tanks are looking fantastic um, we're gonna be spending some time together so hopefully you're all right with that Tony by the sounds of it today you are going to be totally fine with that we're going to have a blast together and uh, share this experience along with everybody else that's watching guys so much love um, i got uh, some work to do ahead of me to be honest with you it is new year's eve today guys 2019 december 31st it is the afternoon right now and uh, I gotta run a few little quick more errands before I go home because we have some guests coming over tonight at our house and I got some work to do with the fish tank so I'm gonna be heading home and uh, what else do some more fish tank stuff and you guys are coming with me all right much love man we'll see you guys in a bit hey okay guys I just got home I'm ready to take the stuff out of the car. So guys, I gotta do that a few more times. I got two more bags to carry. I already carried down the other box of salt, so I picked myself up another box of RPM salt, the Fritz Reef Pro Mix, so I did some shopping today, basically. Okay guys, so here's the overall game plan right now. As I mentioned, I got the three bags of the Oregonite, 40 pounds each. I'm gonna be rinsing these, get my live rock that I have over here, or should I say dry rock, that is wet I just kind of let it sit in here let it rinse for the last day or so just because it was sitting for the last year I dried it out throughout the summertime and now I want to reuse it so what I plan to do is put this inside the tank so I got to do some aquascaping now and kind of lay out my rock work as best as I can so it looks like I'm gonna be working off this little bench chair over here that's gonna help me out to kind of get uh, my hands into the tank and I also pick myself up some uh, carbon as well and I can't not leave out this uh, 
seed bacteria which is made uh, aqua vitro line by Seachem and basically what I plan to do is put in a few capfuls of these as it says here in the directions which will go over shortly to the aquarium to help me speed up and start cycling the aquarium get the bacteria going in the tank and it's going to help me start the process of the cycling. It says right here, rapidly and safely establish the aquarium biofilter. Right here, this is C bacteria by Aqua Vitro C Chem. So between a combination of this additive right here that's going to be adding bacteria to my aquarium and along with some real live bacteria from a fish tank of a local reefer, I think that we're going to have a nice little combination and a good system ready to go. And along with the live rock that I have here, this is some dry rock, should I say, that is now wet. I kind of put it in this rubber made yesterday, just letting it sit inside here with a submergible pump, just kind of circulating a little bit. Appreciate you guys tuning in.